I'm Gaynor. Gaynor, tell everybody what you do. Um, I was a PT and a nutritionist, and now I transform unfit, unhealthy, fat women into beautiful, fabulous, fit women. Woohoo! Oh. Um, from my kitchen at home in High Town in Liverpool, um, and I teach them how to eat healthily, enjoy the right foods without calorie counting, um, without doing fatty diets or having to spend hours bored in the gym. Fabulous, fabulous. Wow, it's pretty wow. Yeah. So, Gaynor, you came to our seminar in September. Yeah. You bought a ticket, came along. Why? Because um, I'm a mum of two, I have a husband who's away a lot, and if I'd have carried on working the hours I was working, I probably would have had a breakdown or a meltdown, or I was about to hit a brick wall. I just couldn't do it. It was not sustainable. I wasn't spending enough quality time with my family. I felt like I was doing everything badly. Um, and I just needed help to make my business more efficient and do the stuff that I love doing and get rid of the stuff that I don't like doing and be able to pay for help doing the stuff that I don't like doing. Yeah. Who wants to spend more quality time with their family? Not uncommon. Not uncommon. Because that's part of what makes up your ideal average day, right? Well, unless you hate your family, of course, but <laughs> it's what makes up a large part of people's ideal average day. So Gaynor, when you were at the seminar, we yeah. gave you the opportunity to join our gold program. You said yes, but did you have any reservations about joining? Yeah, absolutely. Um, although I was actually one of the first six to get to join, because <laughs> I'm a bit impulsive like that, I did. Speedy, <laughs> I like it. Yeah. I was really scared because I thought, am I going to have the time to do, I've got no time as it is, yeah. how am I going to have the time to do all the stuff that Lucy's telling us to do? And, you know, is it just going to mean that I'm going to have to work h even harder and even longer hours? And is it going to make it worse initially? And I really don't like Facebook and computers and all that stuff, that stuff I'm not good at. Am I, is she just going to tell me to do all that when I don't want to do it? Yeah. And I'm scared of doing all that because I don't like it. So how, <laughs> what made you get over that and do it anyway? Um, <laughs> seeing people that had done well and people I knew who had done the course, I knew a few people who'd done it and had amazing results just by following the Lucy steps and doing the stuff. So I had first-hand referrals, really, yeah. um, of people that I knew were doing really well with it. Okay. Um, and I could see how it had transformed their business. Yeah. And I just knew I had to do something because otherwise I would just crash and burn. Yeah. How long had you been in business? Um, it will be four years in January. Okay. So okay. Three and a half -ish So yeah, time. four years if you're working too many hours, not spending enough time with your family, grinding it out is enough time to be on the brink of yeah. something's going to give yeah. fairly soon. And I was earning an okay well, you know, salary out of it, but not enough for the effort yeah. and the stress it was causing me. And yeah. Yeah. Is anyone resonating with this? Put your hand up if you are. Yeah. Right. So, you've been on the program, I have no idea how many weeks that would be. When was our seminar in September? Eight weeks. Six? Yeah. Seven? Eight weeks, something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Mid-month. Mid so, two months, give yeah. or take. Yeah. Okay. So, what's it been like? Really good. I've gone through various stages of, oh my God, I'm so confused. I don't know where to start because there's so much stuff I've got to do. Then through, right, I'm going to do this now. I'm going to do it. I'm going to make that decision. I'm going to do it. Like I'm going to jack my boot camps in and get rid of that big chunk of income. But it was causing me a load of stress. So I went through a big scary shit zone. And I'm still going <laughs> That's through that. That's what we affectionately <laughs> call it, the scary <laughs> shit zone. And I'm still going through that in a little bit, in, you know, in ways. But I've now, I'm starting to see the light and see the rewards and the money's coming in. And I'm still working really hard but I can see it getting better, and I can see the fact that I'm going to be able to afford the help that I want to get to do all the stuff that I don't like, and I am going to have more time with my, my family. Yeah, because it's I'm okay to put the hours in if you know it's because you're doing it in a structured way, so you can then step away. Yeah, and I've doubled my prices. She's doubled her prices! Give her a round of applause! <laughs> so, you've had quite a few good results, but your one best results so far if you're okay sharing numbers share yeah. numbers um, 
I went on the, the Liverpool day, the workshop, was just a, a free workshop in Liverpool, and I just did that as a little extra thing, to, and actually took my husband, which was really good, because I wanted him to understand that I wasn't going through a hormonal leaky stage. <laughs> 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 and he was just, you know, I wanted him to understand what I was doing. So he came along, like, under duress, and I made him sit there, but actually he did get it, and he thinks it's good, and he's more sort of behind me now on it. Ah, so your partner's on board now. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Who would like their partner to be on board with their business? Yeah, <laughs> right. So I forgot, what, what was the question? I've forgotten. The question was <laughs> some, some results you've been having and numbers oh, yeah. if you're happy to share. Yeah, so I did the guilt-free Christmas thing that you told us to do in the, in the workshop. Guilt-free Christmas thing was about getting clients on board now and getting them to commit for three months. So, you know, take you through the, the bad month, December, when it can go a bit iffy. You don't really get as many clients and take them into, into January. And you told me to do the, the marketing that I was comfortable with, with, which was flyers, so I did that. And I put together um, very quickly, in about 10 minutes, <laughs> a thousand pound package. And I sold my first thousand pound package last week. So you've doubled your prices, you've sold your very first thousand pound package which yeah. is a decent chunk of mm -hmm. what you're investing with us already coming back to you for the year and I sold another one the same week well not a thousand pound one I sold it to uh, and it was an elderly lady she didn't want to commit to six but she committed to eight and actually I got a better rate on that that was double that was the first time I actually doubled my rate yeah so it worked out at double the rate yeah I did that one that was 600 pounds and so what's life like now i um, still really busy, I am working hard, but I'm feeling a lot more confident in charging that price, even though I'm training people in my kitchen. Um, and I'm really excited about doing all the stuff now. I know I'm clearer, having gone through that, right, I've got to get rid of that phase and all the scary stuff. I just feel more focused. Yeah. I know what I need to do. And what's brilliant is actually having those coaching calls with Junior as well and just him giving me the structure. Junior, so stand up focus. and wave at everyone. <laughs> Give him a round Thank of applause. <laughs> yeah. He just gets you to focus. I was just overwhelmed by how much stuff I had to do. And I was like, oh my God, where do I start? Um, I can't do all this. And he just gets you to focus on one thing. And that's so what I needed. Just one, one thing. thing. Little baby steps. Yeah. Give Gainer a round of applause. Well done. Well done.